All right, here we go. Next one in the set. Skaven Warlord, Myland of Blood. Here he is on his base. Uh, just the uh, little bit of sand around the bottom there. This guy goes together pretty easy. His arms and his chest are uh, a separate piece. Let's see where his area is right there. It's with the uh, boot brown Krylon spray primer. Okay, so the way I did this guy here, I did him a bit differently um, in terms of pictures. And this is all just base coat stuff here. So I've got, uh, let's see, some tin bits on the gold parts, some uh, bolt gun metal there. This is Stone Shadow from Reaper. Um, this is Snot Green from GW. Uh, Astro Gray Foundation. A um, bit more bolt gun, tin bits, uh, Deneb Stone. See, that was Talarian Flesh, and we got some uh, Scorch Brown for the Dark Red, and a Reaper um, Red Ink for the Red Bits. So the idea here, just giving everything a single flat coat, and uh, that'll get me ready for the next bunch of steps. So here we go, next step, this is washes on here. So we got uh, Devlin Mud Wash on the uh, silver parts and the bronze parts. Um, got a, a griffin sepia wash here, thraka wash there, black wash on those gray parts, and I don't think I really even touched the red. Um, what else? On the uh, those fleshy bits, that's just the auger and flesh. Um, also, we're going to be doing a layer of, of black wash, so black and devil and mud. It's going to go on those uh, silver parts. There's a full 360 of the guy. Okay, so here we go. Now I'm doing some highlights. Uh, as you can see, you know, each step makes quite a big difference. So uh, I got some scorpion green there. I'm uh, using codex gray there. Um, on the uh, silver parts, that's uh, chain mail. Some there too. On the, the gold bits, or well, bronze bits, it's just shining gold. Some uh, blood red on there. Some weathered stone on the base and uh, on the tail and the ears and whatnot that's going to be the uh, reaper rosy flesh uh, on this banner here there we go. the banner is going to be just the base coat again so that's the uh, denim stone the warp stone there too and some different areas in there Okay, and this is basically the final look. So I've added some, uh, what is that? That's uh, Swooping Hawk Turquoise, Hawk Turquoise, uh, as well as uh, Dark Angel's Green mixed in there. Got a bit more uh, highlight up here with the Scorpion Green. Um, did the same for the bronze there. Added a bit of a lighter color there, so it's like a bleached bone. Um, added the... Uh, Weathered stone, or oh, which one? The next one up on the the triad. Um, some uh, blaze orange on the red. Uh, so we've got some bestial brown was a medium coat there, and then the snake bite leather. And uh, coming together quite nice. Uh, Chainmail, I mentioned that. Chainmail on the silver parts. And then just some final touches. So we have some scorpion, sorry, scorched brown um, highlights there. A bit more edge highlight in there. Um, did they finish up the base with some static grass, uh, did his eyes red, added his teeth, and just some small details like that. After doing all those other guys uh, in the big units, this guy was a nice reward. Went together quite fast and uh, rather easy, surprisingly. A bit more of a close-up. So you can see how the, the green, you do it sort of in the... Uh, in the shade area there, parts where it wouldn't get um, wiped off from use. And then, you know, the, the cloth here, try to do the edges up with the blaze orange. Same idea on here. Just sharp edges with the highest one. The medium one covers most of the area, and the dark one is just in the cracks. And one more final pass.
check out my blog. It's like watching paint dry.blogspot.com. And this is painted up for miniwargaming.com. Thanks for checking it out.